Hi, my name is Adam and I'm an engineer at National Instruments. Today I want to talk to you about how to effectively teach the difference between the time domain and the frequency domain using NI LabVIEW and an NI MIDAC device. Before we get started, let's talk about why this is important. When taking real measurements, it's often times that you have unwanted frequencies or unwanted signals present into your signal of interest. For example, if acquiring from an accelerometer or from a thermocouple, there might be noise on the line. There's no way to identify that noise just by looking at the time domain. This is why we first must process the signal into the frequency domain to identify that noise and then we can account for it. Let's take a look at this graphically. We can see in the time domain we have multiple sine waves represented here, each of them at different frequencies. However, it's not easy to tell what the frequency actually is or how to distinguish between either of them. However, when we take a fast Fourier transform of it, we can see that the frequencies are represented in different bands, and we can then isolate these frequencies using filters. On my NI MIDAC device, I have connected a solar panel into analog input 0 negative and analog input 0 positive. This allows me to take a differential voltage measurement generated from the solar panel. In LabVIEW, I have already built a VI to acquire the analog input voltage from the solar cell. Let's first take a look at this signal versus time. We can see that I'm acquiring about 0.164 volts from the photocell. However, it's not a constant line. We can see that there's a sinusoidal wave, probably noise on the line. So in order to identify what frequency this noise is to account for it with a filter, we must first take a look at the FFT or we must first perform an FFT and then look at the frequency spectrum. We can see that we have a steady peak right around 60 Hertz. This is coming from the fluorescent lights that are providing the power to the solar cell. Now that we know that this frequency is at 60 Hertz, we can account for it with the filter. I have already set up a low pass filter and I have a control where I can change the low pass filter frequency in real time in LabVIEW. I can now change this to, let's say, 20 hertz, which is much below the 60 hertz noise that we are seeing. We can see the effect that it has. Still, we have a slight ripple here, and I can take it down a little bit further to further account for it, and this will smooth out the line quite a bit. We can use LabVIEW to filter out this unwanted noise and unwanted signal from our process variable. In this case, it's the voltage from our photocell. So this is an example of how we would use the conversion from the time domain into the frequency domain to identify an unwanted noise on the line and then process later using software.